Hey guys, so it's time for my wrap up. These are the products that I've been trying for the last several weeks and I wanted to give you my thoughts. First up, these to-go sticks. They're really cute, they're really portable. Best applied with a sponge. I do have a dedicated video of these if you'd like to see swatches and how they look on the face, so stay tuned for that. Next up is the Instant Results Primer from Revlon. I felt like this made the lines on my forehead even more pronounced and made the formula kind of cake out of it, leaving a trench on my forehead, so it did the opposite of what it should do. I have an entire lip swatch video of these beautiful Color Sensational lipsticks from Maybelline, so definitely head over and check them out. I definitely have some favorites and some ones that I could pass on. Next, we have the Bare Minerals Made to Fit Foundations. I have the one from January and the one from March, and I do have a dedicated video comparing these two colors, how the shade match compares, which one is better, um, if one worked out better than the other, the process, etc. So take a look at that video. I also have a dedicated swatch and tutorial video coming up of the Cargo HD Gradient Palette, so stay tuned for that. Next up was the Ardell Magnetic Accent Lashes. These were easier to apply than the full strip magnetic lashes, but they still didn't lie right along my lash line, so I was a little frustrated with that. The It Bye Bye Redness Corrector I'm obsessed with. This is my new favorite all over the face concealer. It's in a pot. It works amazing at canceling out redness, which I've had a lot of lately. Um, the Olay Whips, I still haven't brought myself to try it because I'm worried about having a reaction, so I keep putting it off, but I will try this and let you guys know in the description box below once I've had a chance to try it what I thought. So stay tuned for an update on that. Next, the Wet n Wild Moon Tears Loose Highlighter from the Gothographic Collection. This is beautiful. It looks very peachy gold, but it actually has more of like a cool tone shift to it on the skin. I tried this in one of my Five first impression videos so stay tuned for that same with this Sonia Kashik eyelash curler I use this in a five first impressions video so head on over and check that out for a you know look at how it worked and what I thought next up we have a new mascara from Maybelline well not new it's new to me um I'm on the fence about this one. I feel like it did an okay job, but it didn't blow me out of the water. So I'm surprised that so many people say that this is their favorite mascara from the drugstore. Maybe I'm missing something. So let me know below if I'm missing something, if there's a better way to use this mascara. The Stila bronzer is very nice. It's got a nice neutral undertone. It's not too cool, not too warm. So I think that it works really well on lighter skin tones. And these concealers, I'm still on the fence about. I feel like the Wet n Wild one is a little too pink peach, and the Revlon ones are just so messy. They're like leaking out of the caps when I put them down. So I just don't know if I love any of these. I feel like I need a little bit more time to decide if I'm going to keep them or not. And the yellow LOA colors Conceal and Correct is in my five first impressions video, so head on over to see how well this worked on the skin. And finally, we have the Alme Blush. I'm just not blown away by this. The color is nice, but it's not, it's not something that I would rave about. It's just, it's a decent mauve tone blush. So if that's something that you're in the market for, give it a try. If not, it's not something you have to rush out and buy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this wrap-up video. Stay tuned for next week's makeup tray, and I'll see you later, guys.